Hello and welcome to level 4 of uh, uh, Theme Hospital. Uh, I'm going to read the uh, description for this uh, level. Uh, keep all your patients happy, deal with them as efficiently as you can and keep deaths to an absolute minimum. Your reputation is at stake, so make sure you get it as high as possible. Don't worry about money too much. That will come as your vital reputation grows. Don't worry about money too much. Yeah, easy for him to say. Uh, okay, well, uh, you'll be able to train your doctors to widen their abilities too. Uh, they could well be dealing with patients who seem to be less opaque than most. Okay, so uh, basically the main thing that this level will introduce is the training room. Uh, we'll see how that works uh, when I build it. So the usual procedure, it's a standard routine by now. It's a little bit tedious if you ask me, but well, it has to be done. This level, I don't think it's going to be that difficult. Uh, it's uh, once again. Um, well, I wouldn't call it a tutorial level anymore, but uh, I think that it's it's not really uh, it's not going to be difficult. Uh, this guy, he's qualified. He's a qualified surgeon, a qualified psychiatrist, and a researcher. However, his uh, skill level is a little bit low, and in fact, the description is is a little bit bad. Smuggles fake watches. Okay, does he make money out, money out of that? Lazy and badly motivated. I'm gonna hire him so that I train him later to be a consultant and a proper doctor. I'm also gonna get this researcher uh, and a handyman, of course. And let's see if there's a nurse here. Mm, yeah, well, this one. Anyway, uh, general diagnosis. I'm going to speed the game up a little bit. Mm, I always make this mistake with the door. I place it in such a way that then the screen doesn't really... It's not really where it should be. Patient. You shouldn't forget to change these settings when you start. And this. So now um, the staff room. In this level, probably I will build toilets as well. I still haven't built any toilets after uh, three. Um, yeah, after three levels, uh, this staff room is probably a little bit small, but it will do, I think. Pharmacy, okay, you need a pharmacy, that's easy. I'm gonna build it right here next to the GP's office. It's generally a good idea to place a pharmacy next to a GP's office, so that, uh, because I think that most illnesses uh, require a pharmacy to be treated, so if you have it close to the GP's office, uh, then you will be curing patients uh, as fast as possible. Um, and now I think I'm gonna go right ahead and buy this plot area here and build a training room so that you also see how it is. 
Um, it should be big as well, <coughs> so that you can put as many chairs uh, in it as possible. more three more I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna have so many students here but well so that it looks nice symmetrical I have a thing for symmetry in uh, a lot of things and the bookcases here and the skeleton uh, you should place the skeleton and the bookcases relatively close to the uh, projector or whatever it's called uh, yeah the projector okay uh, your juniors and doctors <clears throat> can gain valuable extra qualifications by studying in this room a consultant with surgeries research or psychiatric skills will pass these on to any doctors being trained doctors who already have these skills will find their ability to use them increases whilst here so um, uh, basically, what you need to do here is, uh, of course, you're going to need a consultant, which at the moment I don't have. Uh, and then you need the students. Uh, generally, I, I think that the best students are the ones that are juniors, so that... Um, Especially if you have a consultant with, uh, let's say, surgeon skills and then you have a junior doctor with no uh, spe speciality, uh, then the consultant will, will teach them how to be surgeons. While if you have a, a doctor, uh, meaning that he's already in, the, in this level, the, the medium level, which is the doctor level, uh, seniority as, as they call it, sometimes they will not get the qualification in time because maybe they become consultants first before they get the, the, the speciality of, uh, of a surgeon. Uh, of course, juniors take more time to, to reach consultant, uh, the, the level of consultant, but my only worry now, right now is that I don't have a consultant and that could be a problem. Anyway, I'm going to build my research department I really hate the fact that look at this I cannot build it here like this because it's small but if I make it uh, one square meter or whatever uh, bigger then it doesn't fit there because of the door so I have to do this and perhaps a little bit more here and I think that it would be a good idea to build a staff room close to the... No, not two fire extinguishers, that's overkill I think. Uh, I, I meant to, to buy two radiators. So... Um, So yeah, a staff, uh, a staff room close to the uh, to the research department and the training room is is a good idea, so that they don't have to waste time uh, uh, walking long distances in order to get uh, to get rest to get some rest. Of course, I already have a staff room up there in the other plot area, so um, I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that one. Perhaps I'm gonna sell it. No, I think one more pool 
whole table fits here, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna sell this one. No need to have two of them, of course. This could, uh, this could have been for the ones that work here, but mm, I don't think so. I, I think it's better to just just have that one down there it's not that far anyway uh, corrugated ankles uh, ankles uh, cause driving over traffic calming me measures in road uh, symptoms footwear does not fit snugly uh, lightly toxic blend of herbs and spices is drunk to straighten out the ankles I wonder how that works but so now I'm gonna okay we have a new spare ribs uh, that is uh, yeah that needs an operating theater I think it's too early for that I don't know if it's a matter of bad luck. Luck. Ah, here is the consultant. Yeah, okay. I spoke too early. Too soon. Okay, I'm gonna put him here to train uh, the others. So, for example, this one is a junior. He's already he's a researcher as well. I'm gonna put him here so that he he becomes a, a psychiatrist as well. Uh, I th think I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one as well to to be trained <clears throat> and and this one so at the moment I only have one uh, mistake I only have one yeah, heat piles only one doctor here so I might have to be moving him around manually to make sure that the, the job is done, otherwise... Yeah, that's a bit of a problem because he has to be moving around all the time uh, between the GP's office and the general diagnosis. But well, hopefully these doctors will be trained soon. Uh, the only thing that worries me is that yeah, well, I don't. I have a surgeon. So Reginald Crumbly, okay. Um, I have this surgeon here, researcher, surgeon, Mr. M Miley. Um, <clears throat> so I need to make him a consultant as fast as possible so that later he can train others to be surgeons. Uh, I don't really remember if I will be... Okay, uh, I have another consultant here. I, I'm gonna get him to work here while this uh, researchers... What, what is he doing there? Oh, he, he's going to the staff room. Okay, you can go to the staff room. Patients is like your hospital. Then what the hell are they doing here? Doesn't really make much sense, right? Okay, this guy, yeah, fed up and leaving, goodbye, good riddance, hope you have a pleasant death, whatever illness you have. Uh, the squids, yeah, okay, 388%, not great, good but not great. TV personalities, uh, I don't have a psychiatric room, okay. Uh, the uncommon cold... Doctor, 
that must be like the 350th time at least that I say this. Placement is important and aim for practicality. No, I know it doesn't look nice. Uh, I mean, look at this. It's ridiculous that these things are in the middle of the room. But it's fast and it's, it's good. So, yeah, they keep complaining about the cold, but I don't understand why. It's, it's not that bad here. Staff announcement. Aisha's with the squids are on the way. I'm going to place one more radiator here. Doctor required in GP's office. Oh, I'm out of money. Uh oh, that that was not good. Now, now that I have the emergency, the nurse decided to rest. Okay, enough rest for you. Transparency. Uh, your team has discovered a new condition. It is transparency. Cause licking the yogurt from the foil tops of open pots. Symptoms. Flesh is rendered see-through and horrible. A <laughs> uh, pharmacy drink of specially cool, uh, cooled and colored water cures this disease. Uh, so here it is. The transparency problem. Uh, illness. And look at this. Ah. Lots of messages here. Fractured bones. This is another uh, disease caused falling off high things onto concrete. Pretty straightforward. Uh, symptoms, loud crack and inability to use afflicted limbs. Uh, limbs. The cast is set, then removed using a laser driven removing machine. It's, I mean, it's like you don't really cure the patient. You just remove the, the cost. So, yeah. Uh, and I repeat once again, you should be checking from time to time if there is new stuff available. you get to your job. King complex, yeah, 90, 96%. I'll take my chances. I like this 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 illness because it's it, it, it's quite ex expensive to cure. Uh, you earn uh, at least one thousand six hundred or something like that, which is nice. Uh, I don't have an inflator. Uh, let's see. One of my juniors have become. Uh, a doctor and one of my doctors has been promoted to qualified psychiatrist. So that's a good thing. But I'm still waiting for the, the researcher surgeon to, to become a consultant. Uh, this guy, what is he doing here? Uh, I'd prefer it if he was getting trained. But well, sleeping illness, yes.
floaty head. Uh, I'm not sure if we've seen the cause. No, I don't think we have. It's sniffing cheese and drinking unpurified rainwater. So be careful when you do that uh, because you might end up with a bloaty head. And symptoms very uncomfortable for the sufferer. I can imagine and cure the swollen head is popped and reinflated to the correct DSI using a clever machine. Beware of clever machines. Uh, I'm gonna get a loan so that I build the inflator. Uh, it's I think it's an important uh, room. I'm gonna build it here so that perhaps another room will fit there. And generally you should be placing it in such a way so that it's facing the door so that as soon as the patient enters uh, they go straight to the machine. good nurse yet. Okay, end of year one. And some much needed bonuses. Uh, I'm not sure if I should repay the loan, because if I do, I'm gonna be without money again, so no. Oh, there is a very good handyman. And let's see what doctors are available this year. Uh, nothing great. Uh, nurses. This nurse, I um, wanna see if she's one of the fast, yeah, she's a fast one, that's good. Much better than this one. In fact, this one is out as soon as she Cures. That one. Goodbye. With without so much as an apology <laughs> or compensation to speak of. But who cares, right? Burp you just heard was was not me, huh? Uh, invisibility. Uh, we haven't seen that either. I mean, we have seen the illness, but not the description. Uh, cause being bitten by a radioactive and invisible ant. Uh, symptoms: patients suffer no discomfort. Indeed, many use the condition to play practical jokes on their families. Yeah, that sounds kind of funny and helpful. As long as it's not permanent, of course. Uh, cure a colorful liquid drunk in the pharmacy soon restores the patient to full observability. So, yeah. that mouse uh, kidney beans I have a lot of patients that come that want um, uh, that they need a, an operating theater uh, then I have a case with fractured bones uh, you will see here that there are three options the first one is to send the patient home the second one to get the patient to wait in the hospital for a while so that you can actually build the fracture clinic or to send the patient to the research department uh, which helps uh, with the research of of, uh, of that uh, of the fracture clinic, basically. The problem with doing that uh, is that essentially you kill the patient. Okay, it's not clearly st 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 
stated, but that's what happens. So if you get discovered, you get um, uh, you lose reputation, and uh, there is a chance that you get caught. There is a chance that you don't. But I I don't uh, I prefer to just uh, do it by myself uh, unless I'm really desperate to. Um, To, to research uh, a particular building. In this case, I'm not, so I'm not gonna risk sending them to the research department. Okay, here we have another surgeon. This guy is, is close to being a consultant, so ideally, uh, at least I hope so, hopefully, he will not take long to to become a qualified to become a consultant. Fractured bones, fractured bones. I think I'm gonna decrease the drug research and increase the cure equipment uh, research, so that uh, so that this guy here, the researcher researches um, the fracture clinic and perhaps the operating theater and I th think I'm gonna build the toilets for the first time ever well in this let's play you can also see what it looks like. I mean, we. <laughs> I think we all know what toilets look like, more or less. Patients feeling a call of nature will need to unburden themselves in the comfort of your toilet facilities. You can build extra stalls and wash basins uh, if you expect a lot of visitors. In some cases, you might consider building further facilities elsewhere in the hospital. Yeah, generally, I don't really like toilets because they, uh, you know, sometimes the patients have to go to the toilet and waste time. And. Mm -hmm. That might not seem like a big problem, but it is when, because later on, uh, you have a time limit for each patient to cure this patient, otherwise they will die. So, uh, um, I need a, wait, I need a, a psychiatrist here. Yeah, you, so you can handle this situation and get some experience in the process. So yeah, as I was saying, that if they have to, uh, well, one of my doctors has become a consultant. I'm never going to say what I want to say. Uh, who was it? Okay, this uh, consultant researcher. Uh, who is my main researcher? It's this guy, right? Okay, you're fired. And you take his place. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make one last attempt to say what I wanted to say. So, if you have a time limit to cure someone before they die, uh, and then they suddenly need to go to the toilet, you're screwed because uh, sometimes you have no other option uh, but to send them home, to die at home. Yeah, I know that's not exactly moral, but But this is not a moral world, so... <laughs> but it is their fault. If they, I mean, if they want to go to the toilet and, and, and die, then at least they can do it at home, not in my hospital, right? 
uh, and a slicer. I, I don't think I've seen any slack tongue cases yet here. I mean, in this level. I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna build a slicer just yet until I actually have a reason to do so. Some kind of patient. Okay, I have to be very lucky for this to fail. Can you imagine that now he dies? <laughs> Let's see, actually. Okay, <laughs> Halfway to winning the level. And also, when you have, um, when you're researching drugs, you should also be checking from time to time uh, in case you've actually uh, perfected all drugs. Uh, this is important because you don't get a warning message from the computer, uh, from the game. You have to be checking manually. So, uh, generally, what you have to do is you have to find the first one in the list that actually has a drug and check the number here. If that is not 80, if that's not 100% um, effective, then it means uh, there is still more research to be done. Okay, this guy has been promoted to consultant, which means that he can actually replace the previous one uh, because he's perfect. He's uh, a surgeon, or a psychiatrist, and a researcher, so he will be a great teacher, he will be teaching, uh, he will be converting, let's say, others to, well, not converting, he will be uh, making them qualified surgeons, psychiatrists, etc., etc. A new cost remover, this is the fractured uh, bones case, uh, but right now I don't have anyone, so I'm just gonna wait. I have a lot of spare ribs and kidney beans cases that require an operating theater, but at the moment that's... Okay, slack tong. I'm gonna build a slack tong. Uh, ten people. Mm, ten people, that's, that's too much. That's too many people, so uh, I'm gonna... Well, I already have uh, declined. It's not worth the risk, I think. Uh, even though they would need to just go to the to the pharmacy, but no, I, I don't want to take the risk. Uh, bad placement. No, 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 no. I don't want the door there. The door should be in such a way so that it faces, so that the machine faces the door as usual, so that they enter and they just go straight to the machine. To, to go there. Uh, I hope he didn't do that because they can pass through here. So, anyway. Um, Doctor required an inflator room. Okay, okay, they go all around. That's bad. That's, that's really bad. Uh, I don't understand why they do that, to be honest. If it were a more advanced level, uh, I would probably just delete this room and 
rebuild it somewhere else, but okay, it's it's fine. Uh, end of second of year two. Mm, no, your hospital has been awarded the Fizzy Biz Bees, uh, trophy for soft drink retailing in recognition of uh, the numbers, the number of drinks sold in your hospital in the last year. Okay. Fractured clinic. Uh, I think it will not fit here. Well, in theory it would, but okay, it's, it becomes way too cramped in there. So I'm gonna buy this plot area here. In theory, I could have bought the bigger one, but uh, it was too expensive, so. Not yet. Okay, and this is the cost remover. And this room is a little bit small, but okay. Those patients unlucky enough to have broken bones will go here. The cast removal machine will use powerful industrial lasers to slice off any hardened cast causing only a little agony to the patient. I still get the, the impression that it doesn't really cure uh, the, the, the fracture or whatever. Uh, it just removes the cost. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> but well. available no I mean a nurse that is actually worth it sometimes their descriptions are funny plays classical violin and cello cares a great deal about the job in hand uh, collects beer mats very con cons conscientious conscientious cares deeply Okay. How nice of him. Mm, operating theater. Um, I think I'm gonna build the ward at least. So that... Or rather, I'm not going to because I'm out of money. <laughs> 96, this is about to be perfected. And then I can change the researcher's priorities. So you see that even when I have large rooms, doctors complain and they want raises and stuff. So imagine if you have small rooms. I guess it also has to do with the difficulty level. Remember that I'm playing in the hard difficulty uh, level. Okay, I'm getting slightly worried about the money that I have. Wait. Here, I'm gonna, where is the nurse? Where is my nurse? Uh, here, okay. Okay, enough. Cure them. You see, for example, this thing is, is annoying because he had gone there to get cured, but then he realized that he needs to go to the toilet. So he has to waste all this time to get to the toilet. Uh, 
shit like an idiot and then get back to the fracture clinic. In the meantime, there is also a chance that he gets tired of being in the... Hey, by the way, he, I, I think he didn't wash his hands, right? I, I, I'm not sure, but I don't think he washed his hands. So, yeah. And the nurse has left again. I have to go to the... I, I definitely need two nurses, but at the moment there is no one that is good, good enough. One of my doctors has become a consultant, that's, that's a good thing. So, yeah, because when they are here, they are, they're getting paid. Remember that they are getting paid to be trained, so you lose money while they are not really helping you earn money so mm. okay uh, the nurse has to come here to cure these ones thank you for the vomit he vomited just before he left. Uh, the nurse has got tired again. This nurse is... He's overworked. Spare ribs. No, I cannot handle this situation. I have a, an operating theater. So... Back to the hospital. Uh, to the pharmacy. I see that everyone does this thing. They go around because of the slack tongue clinic. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sell the slack tongue clinic here, or at least uh, change. Yeah, make it a little bit smaller so that they don't have to go all around. This is this is bad. So let's see if this fixes it. It should. And yeah, it did. Okay. Okay, now I'm in serious financial trouble. And you see this guy, for example, here. He's uh, he's going to die if this little face here becomes uh, a skull completely. He will die. So uh, in those cases, you should either try to cure them immediately or or send them home okay he's gonna get cured yeah I know my hospital looks like a mess right now it is a mess actually uh, people are incredibly annoyed at the way you run your hospital and can't say blame them. Yeah, well, why don't you give me a hand then? <clears throat> mm, sorry about that disgusting view that you have to see here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take a chance. Okay, I think that this situation will be resolved soon. It's just a question of... It's just a matter of time. Basically, I just need uh, some more money, which I should get soon.
Now that the year will finish, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna... <clears throat> get some bonuses. I hope. Yeah, I'm still in a bad situation. I, I, I'm gonna hire a second nurse. I know that ideally it should, it should have been a much better nurse, uh, but I've been waiting for quite some time and that's, uh, that's not coming it seems. So uh, I'm just going to hire a mediocre nurse and hope for the best. But it's, it's clear that one nurse could not handle all these patients. Uh, six people with fractured bones. Yes, I think I can handle that. And now the ward that I was supposed to build. I'm going to build it now. That I have a bit of money. It's not a big ward this time. But it will do. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe I can place one more bed here. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's not a big problem. Three beds is, uh, I, I'd say that three beds is the is like the minimum you should have in a ward to, to be worth it. For it to be worth it. Generally, you should keep track of uh, emergencies. Uh, that's a bug, what you just heard. It said maintenance required, required in hair restorer. Okay, this is... This is uh, I need m more money to repair this thing, to replace this thing, because when it's fuming, uh, no one will enter and they will... I will just run out of time if I have to wait for the handyman to go there and repair it. So sometimes you have to do that, you have to replace the machinery. Okay, so that's done. And as you can see here, I have a queue size of 5 for the GP's office. That's, that's a very bad thing to happen. Uh, I need to build a new GP's office. I'm going to build it here um, because here I plan to build the operating theater. So I'm going to build a GP's office uh, here. More loan. Uh, but in the long run, I'm going to get that money, that money back. No worries there. a little bit far from the receptionist and, and this main place here but it's it's okay it's not a big problem so I still have a queue maybe I'm gonna need more we'll see more GP's offices, I mean. Oh, a consultant. Why not? And what kind of nurses? No, nothing really good. Handyman. Well, this one is good. Uh, oh, and here I had forgotten about this. Uh, the drug research must be completed. Must be complete. Yeah, completed by now. So I'm gonna have to uh, focus on diagnosis equipment now. Nurse required in room 
and a new x-ray has just been successfully researched I'm not sure I can afford it yet yeah I cannot eight thousand dollars so yeah before it says that there is a problem with the hair restorer uh, when in reality it was the fractured uh, it was the cast remover uh, there are some bugs when it comes to the announcements uh, I don't know if that was intentional I suppose that it wasn't uh, but sometimes instead of saying for example that uh, uh, yeah the, the fracture the cast remover was is damaged they say the hair restorer there are more cases like that so now I'm gonna build the, the x-ray it's it's a good room because it really uh, figures out, let's say, what's wrong with the patient. And I'm gonna build it because I've had some cases of people who were not 100% diagnosed. And the next thing I'm gonna build is going to be the operating theater. In theory, I could finish the level without building it, I think, but well. <clears throat> okay, so now no queue in the receptionist, no queue, no big queue in the GP's office, that's good. And a cardio. Uh, I'm gonna save money for the operating theater instead of building the cardio. It's not really necessary anyway. Kidney beans. No, I cannot. So, yeah, it is true that in this game there are times when you don't really have anything to do you just have to wait a little bit that's why I speed the game up so much uh, this is actually the fastest uh, speed okay another one has become a consultant uh, by the way someone uh, a doctor can become a consultant uh, even without being in the training room uh, but it's it's a much slower process but in theory if he works and if he deals with patients uh, he gets better and better until at some point uh, whoa, 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 13 Q size in the ph pharmacy that's that's brutality I'm gonna build one more uh, pharmacy down here I know I said I was gonna build a an operating theater but this is an emergency 13 that's too much you shouldn't have so big cues because then you're just you have diagnosed the patient and instead of curing them you just waste time and a scanner has been researched the scanner is I think well there's the ultra scanner which is supposed to be better but the scanner is quite good as well okay and now it's time for the operating theater uh, I repeat even if I didn't build it it wouldn't make much of a difference I'm uh, I've already won pretty much After this, 
Uh, I think I'm gonna... Um, Fifty thousand. So let's stop just waiting. Corrugated uncles. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't remember how to. I think it was a. Yeah, it was in the pharmacy. So that should be fast. I'm also gonna buy this plot area. No, I cannot afford it at the moment. Plot price, 11,400. I have 10,000. I'm almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, now. And the complaints keep coming from the doctors and nurses and everyone. Another year. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm. I've entered the Hall of Fame here. I'm tenth at the moment. Uh, I haven't checked my stats actually. Richest, I'm the last one as usual. Highest salary, I'm the first one. Cure count 208. First death count zero. Most visitors. And total value, I'm the best. Uh, some trophies here. So now I'm gonna build the cardiogram down here in the new plot area. I just, well, I bought <laughs> last year. Yeah, you can see. Whoa, 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 he got stuck. Uh, hey, 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 dude. There. <laughs> okay. Um, so, as you can see, training takes time. So, you should start as fast as possible so that you finish as fast as possible. Otherwise, and, uh, the training room should be one of the first rooms to build. Okay, this one, he's leaving. Uh, nothing you can do will keep me here. I've had it with this place. Even if you click on this one, he just leaves. Uh, it seems I've killed a patient. I don't know. Oh, here, look at his death. Uh, sometimes they become like angels and go to heaven. In this case, he was a bad guy, apparently. He goes to hell. Um, didn't look so bad. Well, uh, okay. Have a nice afterlife there in hell. It happens. I don't know. I, I guess it was because he, we, we took too long to cure this person, and I I hadn't noticed it in time. Uh, it happens. It's it's very difficult to not have any deaths at all. Uh, nine people with slack tongue. I'm gonna well, especially now that I had a death already, so I'm not really trying to achieve anything um, I mean I'm gonna lose this trophy of no death no deaths for this year anyway so uh, it's not gonna make much of a difference whether I have one death or two deaths and yeah I know it sounds a little bit bad the way I said it 
but let's not forget we're talking about uh, not real people here so don't get angry with me please uh, what I'm afraid of is that I don't have any doctor to handle the slack tongue people. In fact, I'm going to move this guy here. And the good thing about the slack tongue is, especially if you have good positioning, you see, they enter, go to the machine, uh, it gets cured very fast. And the handyman, in time to repair it, perfect. Uh, but what's not perfect is that the doctor decided to leave. Uh, at a very bad moment indeed. Uh, okay, now I'm worried. Okay, this one has to go to the slack tongue clinic. Three more. Uh, yes, okay, good. Just in time. I'm gonna start repaying my loan. Doctor needed in slack tongue clinic. There's required in fracture clinic, please. And it seems I need There's one more GP's office. There's required in fracture clinic. Please. Well that's a good thing because it means when you need more GP's offices, it means Doctor you have patience. And, and when you have patience, it means you have more money. And when you have more money in the game, nothing changes in your real life. But that's how the how games work. So yeah, I wish I could do that in real life. Build some kind of hospital. Heal people. Heal people. <clears throat> One of your doctors has become a consultant. That's a good thing, it's always a good thing. It's a, coming a little bit late, to be honest, because now I'm about to win anyway. Oh, almost. <clears throat> That's pretty good. JV. The PA system is getting me a little bit crazy. Doctor there, doctor there. But well, that's also a good thing. If you have a lot of announcements, it means you have a lot of patients waiting to get cured. Uh, what's wrong? 93%. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get him to wait so that I build the scanner. Which should... I cannot afford it yet. Okay, I have to wait a little bit. Now, costs 12,000. It's pretty expensive, but it's, it's worth it. It's a very good machine. might say, come on, this is not really important, but believe me, it is. Patients are accurately diagnosed using the sophisticated scanner. They then go and see a doctor in the GP's office for further treatment. That's a pretty lame message. They could have thought of something more intelligent to say. They just decided to state the obvious. Okay.
doctor available here? Uh, yeah, well, this is a junior. This one would be a good candidate to become a trainee. However, if I hire him now, he will not be cured by the end of this level. Uh, nine people with bloody head. Now, in these cases, if you really want to take the case to, to handle this emergency, you really need to build two inflators. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. In fact, I'm going to do it just for the sake of it. I'm going to build a second inflator so that they get uh, that some of them get sent to the inflator and some of them to to one of the inflators and the rest to the other. Uh, I don't really need to do this, but well, uh, I feel generous today, so I'm going to try to cure them. There is a machine that is supposed to be damaged, or at least that's what the PA said. I don't see any machine uh, having problems, oh, which reminds me, I should build, should buy a computer here. It's been available for quite some time now, I had forgotten about it. It's not gonna make, it's not gonna make much of a difference anymore, but well. And the emergency emergency will go this, is a, this was a risky situation um, I'm going to replace you see here the inflator has a strength of 4 it's already been used quite a few times and has been repaired that's why it says time used 0 but strength 4 is too low and especially in emergencies you really need to have a higher strength. This guy, he's, let's see, uh, he's going to the operating theater uh, where there is, no, I'm gonna send him away to just go and die by himself in peace. Uh, okay, and here, I don't have a, a doctor available in this inflator room. Where are all those consultants that I had? They are in other rooms, some of them are also tired. This one is not, so I'm gonna put him here. And I need one more. Yeah, for example, this one, he can go here. Oh, that, that was really bad placement. They have to go all around. Uh, that was bad. Uh, once the emergency is dealt with, I'm gonna have to reposition the equipment. So you see, without two inflators, there was no way I would have handled this situation in time. So now it's done, and I can... Okay, here. Nine out of nine. I think I'm gonna uh, sell this inflation, uh, this inflator. Don't really need to have two without any uh, good reason. <clears throat> A raise of 660, and he's earning at the moment 343. Okay. Talk about a raise, huh? I'm not sure there's any way to avoid this thing. They just complain endlessly. Uh, probably has to do with the difficulty level or their union or whatever. Uh, well, that, that sound is of a machine that is damaged, severely damaged. But where is it? Yeah, it says x-ray, but no, you see it's here in the slack tongue. This is another bug. Uh, okay, so that was close. It had a strength of five and it was used four times already. If they used it again by mistake, it would probably explode. The problem with that is that first the, the patient dies, but that's not the real problem. The problem is that uh, the machine is... Um, <clears throat> It explodes and the, the, the room is then 
rendered useless. You cannot do anything to it. You cannot sell it, you cannot repair it. So it's just there taking up space. Uh, which is which is bad. Put it simply. It's a bad thing. And yeah, well, to be politically correct, I'm going to pretend I actually care about the patient who is going to die. Uh, I, I, I do. I mean, I honestly do. Yeah. So here you see that this one is halfway to death. So she was second in the queue. I moved her to the first place uh, <clears throat> because I really care for her well-being. Uh, and I'm supposed to have so many doctors, but a lot of rooms are empty. They have no doctor. Uh, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to win this level this month, at the end of this month. Yes. Uh, so that was the end of level four. Congratulations. We at the Ministry are very impressed by your hospital running abilities. I'm honored. Uh, you are certainly a golden boy in the health department. We think you'd prefer a slightly tougher job, though. You'd be paid a salary of 73095 uh, Okay, uh, but the decision is up to you. Are you interested in working at Simpleton? <laughs> uh, Simpleton, okay. Hospital, yes, I am. So yeah, that was the end of level 4, uh, moving to level 5, still quite a few levels to go. Um, stay tuned for more levels and thank you for watching.